Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're coming to you with the Brooklady Optimore 12 Point Deuce. I'm Scott. He's Bart, and we're gonna test it. Getting a little excited. Love the 6.3 style. Heavily peated style. Woo! Uh, early on, we did the Octomore six. Well, the, some of the couple of the early editions, six point sure. one and six point three. Six point three. The point threes are wine cask finished. This one, though, we think me and Dustin was talking. This one's twelve point two, but we think for cask type, they've got bourbon and SC. He, uh, Dustin thought that was Sauternes. So uh, aged five years, barley origin, Scottish mainland. Barley Variety Concerto. Scottish Mainland? Yeah. It's bottled on That's, the mainland? No, barley. Oh, barley. God. Well, some are still bottled on the mainland. Right, it's not two. their island barley. Right, yes. right. So, standard Scottish barley here. Super heavily peated, 129.7 ppm. 57.3% alcohol. This is a limited edition from 2021, which our liquor store just got in, though. Wow. Uh, this was still 750 milliliter. I don't remember what we did. 13.1 recently. I don't remember if it was 700 or 750. I think it was 750. 750. I'm gonna say it because it makes me mad when I say 700. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna say it was so 750. Brooklyn yeah. is an island distillery. They do peated and unpeated whiskeys. They do. Now most of the unpeated whiskeys will just have Brooklyn on the name, like the light blue. Can the Love classic yeah, sea foam, sea foam, sea foam, like to call it. Yeah. Then they do the Port Charlotte's, which is kind of the 50 ppm, kind of the Ardbeg Lafroig style peat. Right. That's Port Charlotte's. Love them. Then they're heavily peated editions. They do Octomore. Right. And there's some it's, that they they score this before it's like in the cask. But, right. It's the ppm is how much they're blasting in. People so, that are better experts than us, put it in the comments on the PPM differences. Was it was it Mark Rainier that was there that started Octomore? Um, yes, he was. The he one was. That, they were on him to do peated whiskeys, and he didn't really want to. I don't know about on him. They had old tired. They said you got to. You're on Isla. You yeah, got to do peated do whiskeys. Peated. You got to make the Ardbeg, the Lafroig, the mm -hmm. Isla style whiskeys. And, and he said. He, he said. I'm gonna up it then. Yeah, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go crazy. Oh, hook, baby. <laughs> So he does these, style. He, I, I believe it was Mark Rainey sure. that started. Well, he was there. Yeah, heated. he was there. He was um, definitely editions. the maestro involved with all those 20 years. We've talked to him. We've sat with him. We've had dinner with him. Um, he was the one that was bringing over these wine casts, these sherry casts, and and popping up these very old Brook Lotties, but that were in tired barrels. And he would do these cask finishes. And then while he was there, they started doing this craziness. Craziness. I do like everything with it, though. The style, um, the bottle, the presentation. Beautiful. Here, hold on. Whoa. What? Don't do it. That's what I was going to do. Just smell that. There was a, literally a drop up there. And I like picked, just like smelled it. That is Woo. good. One of the things you can do. Peanutty, uh, malty. Yeah, we had an ambassador. I can't remember who said, Pete. put some in your hand. <laughs> smell it. You'll get all these Yeah. wood, oak, <laughs> peat. You can do it with anything. Ooh. It's not just a peat. Yep. Mm, You'll yeah, get any these whiskey. earthy tones. Wow. It's a beautiful Amazing. way to see what's going on. <laughs> I want more of it. We're gonna have people pouring whiskey yeah, people out. Yeah, people be like pouring it out. I, mean, I can't pour it out. I'm gonna pour it out. I poured you a little more than me. Citrusy, sweet, peaty, with an earthy touch. Earthy clay. Yeah. Um. Whew, boy, you gotta watch out. It'll get your nose. That one got me a little bit. Um. Yeah, clay, earthy, peaty. Yet caramel, candy, sponge sugar. Candied apple. Yeah, sponge sugar. I can see candied apple, that caramel wrapped. Oh, no, oh, the candy. Yeah. yeah, the red. Yeah. That's good. I got to try it. Salivation's kicking in again. Yeah. 
I have to a little put bit. on my Spartan helmet. So, one thing I've, I've learned with heavier strength, higher ABV whiskeys, kind of just blow a little bit into Ooh. the glass mm -hmm. and bring it out to your nose. He called it a puff. A little, uh, yeah, a little puff. A little just puff. A little puff. Puff the magic dragon. I get a little bit of lime. Get a little bit of lime there. Yeah, with I could go with you. Ooh, that actually, your puff was good. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah, peanutty, malty, peaty, limey. Wow, limey. That's a derogatory term. That's what the Yanks used to call the British mm. soldiers. Those mm. limeys. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh. God, that's mm. nice. What? Well, well, a little a, bit of like an old closet. That should be the peat that the Bart likes right mm. there on the palate. There's that's a punch of peat, but there is some nice undertones here of sweetness and fruits, fruit that baskets. Yeah, you kept the last art, art, uh -huh. art, 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 Yeah, we can Greco. I figured. You know, the ones I brought here today, I told you I was planning on leaving <laughs> I know, here. I know. So this nice. is this is a good one. That is a good one. Now, if that is, if cast type is, and I suppose we could have researched this, cast type mm -hmm. bourbon slash We don't, we don't do the research, so. You have to. Yeah. Now, usually the point three is the wine cast. The only problem I have is the point three is usually, I'm going to look it up. I got it. I know. They've gone a little far here. Um, the points, and you used to have like, you used to have the white can, meant it was finished yeah. in some kind of wine cask. It is Sauternes. Yeah. Is it? Ooh, a good call. You called it. And it was the black can was usually a little more more peaty, right? Even the white bottle. What do I got up there? Those are the famous ones up there, aren't they? The 6.3? Isn't that the 6.3 up there? The 6.3, yeah. No, that was the... See, I always thought the point three were wine cask. So, yeah. 57% on that bad boy. All right, from the from the Brook Lottie Octomore website, if you go to the 12.2, the 12.2 follows in the footsteps of the now infamous Octomore 4.2, hmm. which became one of the most acclaimed and sought after whiskeys in our distillery's portfolio, making making a statement in a surprising pairing and balance of sweet and smoky. This Octomore 12.2 spent three and a half years in ex American oak casks building a solid foundation, fruity floral spirit, blah, 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 before being recast to an impe impeccable quality Sauternes casks. All right. Six three is the white one. 6.1 is the black one. So that's a nice... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Six okay. three. You know... Look at the camera. You can't even... The black doesn't even really... You can't even really see it. It's like a shadow. Yeah, it's like it the is. shadow can. It's deep trouble we don't need those up there though i want to taste them yeah i was going that one feels full probably is probably since we tasted that one seven years ago <laughs> hopefully my boy See, down that part per million was 167. Ooh, that, yeah. one, that was a good one i still got i got like this much left in mine crazy. that was a good one I, I went to that one several times try it oh, first i don't need to yeah you do you got to try it. I got to freshen that cork up, too. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. more, of the, more of the wine influence. Really sweetness up front. Very nice. Woo! But back to wow. the 12.2. Yeah. Got good Ooh. legs, too. Mmm. That's a, that's a good one. Ooh. What? What? You want to see what's in there? Which one? Oh no, six, six point one. Sixty-four percent. Yeah. On the six point three, which was two hundred and fifty-eight parts per million. Mm. We're back down a little bit to one twenty-nine. Is that what this one was? Oops. I saw it here somewhere. I don't know. So yeah, one twenty-nine point seven on twelve point two. Where do you see that? Well, it was on the can. I saw it for starters. There at 167. Oh, yeah. Mm. So this one at 129, a little bit lower PPM than we saw on the, these two older editions. Mm. But still. Oh, the white, the gray, and the black in there. Mm. 
There, Ooh. that way you can see it. Look at that, I got her shining. <laughs> Woo, well, these are good. Yeah. Now, here, here's yeah. what I want to add in though, as a peat head. I, I, I've been telling people, get you one of them. You know, I mean, what, what, what you'll get from us covering it is some of the subtle differences. In my personal tasting experience, you're going to get more peat traditional flavors from a Laphroaig, a Lagavulin, or an Ardbeg. These are like special peated, Ooh. you know, like alchemy going on. You deserve to have at least one of them if you're a peat head. But you don't need to chase them. You don't need to pursue them. And I don't go back to these nearly as much as a Lagavulin, a Laphroaig, or an Ardbeg. They're good, but they're actually more artisan, more finessed, more nuanced than some of the Ard... I was going to say Ardbeg, but some of the peat that I like to go to. So these are peat nuances that you might not even appreciate unless you've really soaked in the peat to say. So don't worry about it if you only have one. Thank you. So I poured too much of the 6.3, uh, but it's very oh, good. Are you very nuanced. Is that what that is? Yeah, I finished off oh. that bad boy. Well, that's what we're reviewing. I know, I finished it. You want to pour a little more on there? No, 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 just from here. I put a drop, I put a drop of water That's on good. there. So let's That's see. Good. So we hadn't moved to a drop of water yet. There's a lot of, a lot of talk about the octomores. Nuance, baby. We're on the octomores. Give you the nuance. I run into ooh. See, this is a little more. This one here is a lot more nuanced. Ooh. This has a real strong ooh. peat finish, a smoke finish. Now I do need mm. more. My point is that water. you don't need every single Octomore. Maybe you do. Water <laughs> opening it up. I'm not going to tell you what you do and don't need. Come on. What are you dated? Some didn't, want them all. If you dated one of the Dallas if, Cowboy cheerleaders, would you need to date them all? No. I'm not going to answer that one. <laughs> dated. I didn't say anything <laughs> else. Maybe you took them for a nice bit of tea. Um, I think anybody, though, if you had a shelf that was lined with these different cans... Would look pretty good. Well, it would look good, but it might look a little pretentious. I think water opened this one up. Man, it really just become a, a floral note really came out with it. A uh, little bit more oak character, the peat, the sweetness, everything really kind of expanded. There, you already had a drop of water in it. I poured more. Oh. I finished that one that I stole from you, and I poured more raw, raw and untouched. That should be the name of these instead of Octomore. <laughs> poured more. <laughs> did you get the new Brook Lottie poured more? I did. I poured I a lot poured of that. More of the poured more. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ooh. I would I would I like agree it. with you. The water's opened it up. Yeah. Uh, it's got a little more smoke in it. It's got a little more like literally ooh, the smoke from nice. a chimney mm. is ribboned through the whiskey. The smoke from the chimney's ribboned through the whiskey in there. That is really nice. 91. 90. I like it. It's mm -hmm. there. I could probably even match you. Not, never mind. 91. I'm going to just match you. That is good. That ribbon of smoke is in there. I almost like it more than the 6.3. The 6.3 has been one of my go-tos. So I'm a little surprised. This is a little more peat forward. I like it. Yep. Well done. Well done overall. Back to our normal Octomore Rango, two hundred dollars. Oh, what's this one? Six three. Six three. Try it in comparison. You're going to get more smoke off of this. That's amazing. More smoke off of the the, the, the twelve two. Wow, that's something. This is definitely mm. more nuanced. Fruity. I think it smoky. depends on how you look at nuance. There's more wine cask influence. That's what these I mean. are probably sherry casks. Right. A lot more richness and sweetness yes. coming through with the PPM. Right. Whereas, the PPM is 258, though, compared to 129. Yeah, this I know, one but I don't be, know if you can compare that. What I'm talking about is like how it hits your palate. I think the sherry cask is um, masking some of the peat here. This one, the yes. peat is more forward. There's really right. only a slight... I would say this one Hence, is more nuanced because the saw turns is... I don't think it's nuanced. More, the saw it's, turns is more nuanced than the sherry mm -hmm. influence on the 6.3. Mm. Yeah. 
the smoke hits me heavier here yep. than it yeah. does here. Yeah, I agree. Got it. Yeah, this one gives me a little bit more of like contemplative, whereas this is, yeah, there's a nice mm. ribbon of smoke. Mm. These are all good though. Yeah. But again, I don't think you I don't think you need to chase these, but pick up one of them. Get one. And uh, I've, I've told a lot of people, find a bar that has some Octomores, pay the little extra money to try an ounce at a, at a liquor or at a uh, restaurant, and then go buy you one. Anything and else? This is one, though, if you do that, make sure you try your non-peated whiskeys that you want to try first, <laughs> and then go to this one, because this one, the peat is so heavy, it's going to saturate that palate. You're not going to be able to go back to anything that's not peated. So. That's true. Um, see what your uh, bartender to, knows. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up coins, barrel caps, glasses, shirts, hats, all kinds of stuff. Help support the show. It keeps the lights on, keeps the whiskey coming. Or you can go to Patreon. And when you're on Patreon, you'll look up Scotch Test Dummies. You can support for as little as a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. You can make that a one a month, or you can do it once a video. You can even cap the amount wherever you would like. Scotch it. You Scotch gods. Salacha. Dummies. Interesting.